What's up, y'all? So, I wanted to talk on a brief topic because I was sitting here and working, and, you know, this isn't the first time I got a comment about this. With the work that I do, you know, I hear crap like this all the time. But, um... I wanted to avoid the topic. I didn't want to bring it up. I think it's too controversial. And in the beginning, I didn't want to bring it up because I'm like, people might dislike me for voicing my opinion. Um, but I've gotten to the point that I really, I don't, I don't care. Um, you know, I'm paying my bills. I'm doing what I have to do. And as long as I'm self-sufficient and taking care of mine, I'm going to speak freely. So, guys, religion, tarot, all of this, how does it all combine? So, just a background on me. I come from an extremely religious family, um, a very strict Catholic faith, okay? And my entire life, uh, it was just something that was kind of really thrown at me. For about a year or two of my life, when I was about 15 or 16, my parents were like, you know what? Um, we want you to explore whatever you choose to believe in. That's you, and we'll support you as long as, you know, it's nothing demonic. So, um, you know, I went from a Christian, uh, no, I'm sorry, from a Catholic church, and to be honest with you, um, I've been to Catholic churches my entire life, and it has never done anything for me. I have never walked in and felt the presence of a higher source. Um, I always just felt judged. I always felt looked at when I came into the church, okay, even though there's great people I met. But anyways, so I had gone to a Christian church for a little while, which actually, you know, when I went in there, the music and just the way people praised, uh, it was beautiful. And I, and I still believe Christianity is a very beautiful religion. And it's something that I just got a lot out of. And I just remember, you know, I've gone on several religious retreats, but I went on a religious retreat for my first time with a Christian church. And I was just crying and crying and crying and crying and it was such a beautiful experience and the thing that I really loved about the church that I did this in was that when you pull up to the church yes it's a Christian church okay it's a Christian worship center um, and when you go it has all of these flags you know all of these different countries but it also had the gay flag um, you know it was just very open to we don't care who you are what you do or who you love but you are welcome in these doors. So that is what really caught me about, you know, this typical, this particular church because I am just such an open person. I don't think that a person is less than I am because they choose to live differently than I do. Okay. But um, I would say maybe a few years after that, my parents got insanely religious because before they were kind of just really lackadaisical about their um, going to church. Okay. They would go maybe just once or twice a year, major holidays, things like that. So when they got really, really into it, um, there was that constant pressure of, you know, you have to give God time. And it's not that I'm demonic or that I'm against church. It's just that I didn't feel anything going to church. And for years, I really just, you know, because now they want me to go back, you know, to the Catholic church. But there was just years of me really just, you know, wanting to please those around me and since I had very religious parents all the people I was around was very religious okay anyone that came to the house uh, we had priests stay at the house all the time okay and it was just a sort of thing where I literally felt like an awful person you walk into an establishment where they're saying you're gonna find love and you're gonna find all these things and I always felt judged Okay, and let's not even get into me getting pregnant at 19. That was the most ashamed I have ever felt in my entire life. Okay, now am I saying that Catholicism or any religions like that are a sham or that, you know, people just want you there and they just want to judge you and tell you how to live? Absolutely not. Um, the reason why some of those religions, in my opinion, get a bad rap is because of how entitled some people feel. Uh, where they say this is what you need to do, this is what you need to believe, and any other way is just a path to hell. Um, I think that that is a bit extreme, okay? And the pettiness that I have seen in some religions, like, oh, if you smoke weed, you're going to hell, or if you kiss a girl, you're going to hell, you know, things that I heard, and it's just like, 
I don't know. When I think about God and I think about the source of this universe and I think about the person that created all of this, I think that our God is a little bit too busy to be worried about petty things like a girl kissing another girl or um, somebody smoking a plant that naturally grows on this planet. You know, these are just examples, guys, and just personal examples. So imagine me finally getting into tarot. Um, now, how did that happen? I had gone through something very, very difficult in life. And someone very close to me was like, you know what? You need to get out of bed. You are too depressed. We need to get you out of this house. And I'm like, okay, whatever, let's go. So she's like, let's get in the car. Let's go to the city. I didn't know what was going to happen there. But we get there, and um, there's this lady that she read cards. And that was my first time. You know, I knew what tarot reading was, but that was my first time being exposed to it. So I go, and this lady read the hell out of me, you know, um, and it made me feel better. And I'm not saying that I replaced this with religion. That never happened. I was still very much, you know, a child of God, okay? And to this day, I still am. But that reading, it kind of stayed with me, okay? It stayed with me. So a few years later, I go through another thing that's difficult, and I was just looking for answers anywhere, and, you know, this is me getting dragged to church, you know, two, three times a week with my family, and it just, it wasn't doing it for me, guys, and if it does it for you, that's amazing, because we all have such different paths when it comes to finding source, okay, and if it helps you, that's what you guys should do, okay, it's really what you should do, but for me personally, I just, I was looking at the clock, and I was like, okay, this is going to be an hour, and after an hour, my parents can shut the hell up, and they're not going to bitch at me for being, you know, this loser kid who's not going to church. I'm not saying they ever called me a loser or anything, but they would, you know, my dad would kind of give me the cold shoulder for at least a few hours if I didn't show up to church, so I just did it to keep everything leveled out. That's really the reason why I went, just to make people happy, not because of something that I felt in my heart. So, after this thing happened... I was just looking for some sort of answers. And so I go on YouTube and I type in, you know, Taurus horoscope. And, you know, little by little, it takes me into the tarot section. And the first person I found, who was it? Um, I believe Queen of Cups Tarot. Okay. So I had, she was one of the first videos I found. And then another one, I forget what her name is. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. Where she always has like hip hop beats in the back. I don't know if she's still on YouTube, but she was one of the first people I found as well. And when I heard the readings, it just brought me so much comfort. And I was just crying with how much it resonated and with how much I felt. So I told myself, you know, this is incredible. And for the next month, you know, not saying that this was the healthiest thing, but I was just going through so much. I really delved into it. Okay, I wasn't working at the time. I was too depressed to get out of bed to work. And so I just went and I just watched tarot, like, straight. Like, I would wake up and just watch it. The only time I would stop was, like, when my parents got home or, you know, when I had to make food, whatever, things like that. And so it just did a lot for me. And then when it got to the point where I would be watching readers and I already knew everything that they were going to say and just watching the cards that they put down, I already knew what the spread said without them having to explain anything. That's when I wanted to kind of take things to the next level. So um, I took that jump and I bought myself a tarot deck. And I knew that it was going to be a very controversial thing. So I, you know, obviously I'm not going to tell my parents about this. So I practiced it in, you know, in privacy. And I did it behind closed doors, and, you know, after a month, I really mastered it. I felt like I really understood how this meant. Now, the biggest thing for me, guys, was when I actually started reading for others. Because this was just a new part of spirituality for me. And there have been so many readings that I have done. And I didn't understand why at the time. Because, again, I was new to this form of spirituality. But I would just feel like crying. But it's because the readings sometimes would be devastating. Because sometimes I would be helping people with very heavy problems. And I would say my first year, I helped a good few hundreds of people through really, really tough times. And a few people from killing themselves. Things like that. And 
that's when this work just came so incredibly important to me. I have helped reunite families. I have helped people find, you know, things that have been lost for a long time, whether it's a person or a thing, okay? Never once in my life have I used tarot for anything dark. Never once in my life have I wished bad upon anyone or have I pulled cards to say, how do I make this person regret what they did? Okay. And not just with tarot guys, but with religion, with anything, with yoga practices, like and any sort of practice that you can do. There are people who abuse it. That's just how it goes. Okay. We all know there's been a shitload of Catholic priests who have molested children. We all know that there is, you know, people that have been killed over um, just religious disputes, you know, all over the world, the Middle East. There's so much going on right now. And I think that when you fully awaken, you realize that this right here is the answer that everybody is looking for, despite what belief, despite what religion that you have. Guys, the only difference between me or who you pray to or what someone else is kneeling down to, the only difference is the path. Do you want to take I-95 or do you want to take 287 to get there? Do you want to take Route 60 or do you want to take Route 81 to get there? Every single road will lead to the same thing. When someone next to me is praying to a Catholic, you know, to Jesus, and me, if I sit down, and my crystals are over there, I don't want to wake up, or uh, get up rather, but if I'm sitting there and I'm holding my crystals and I'm meditating, the same thing is happening to both of us. Because in that meditative state, and that's what praying is, a meditative state, you are raising your level of consciousness. And I'm talking about this and I'm making this video because I am just sick of people coming up to me and saying, you're going to hell, you're a scam artist, this doesn't work, you know, without even knowing anything about it. I have done nothing but help, okay? So for somebody to come to me and say, it has to be my way, and if it's not my way, then you're wrong and you're going to hell. If you think that that's going to make me say, oh, oh my God, really? Well, I might as well drop everything, and I might as well go to the next church meeting. No, that is going to turn me off. I have never been one to be confined. I have never been a person to put another person down to make a point. If you have to try and make another person feel like shit to make your point, your point is shit. Point blank period, your point is shit. Okay? The best argument you make is when you show that you understand not only your side, but the other person's. Okay, and when that sense, that connection, that sense of, okay, I understand you, you understand me, and this is why I still think it should be my way, then okay, I'm going to hear you out. But if you come to me with just pure ignorance, no, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, and if you don't live my way, it's going to be a problem, then that's where I have a problem, okay? And that's something that I really, you know, had to sit down and talk to my mother about and I know I said this was going to be quick but this is a really serious topic for me I'm taking time out of work you know I'm probably going to get a few readings out late but it just it had to be said but I was talking to my mother and I truly believe that because of my mother's prayers and because of how holy of a person she's you know trying to become on a daily basis that I am very very protected and I love my mother for that and I sat down with her the other day and you know, a few weeks ago, a few months ago maybe, and I told her, I'm like, I know this sounds crazy, but with everything you're doing, she's very interested in healing. She's very interested in bringing those higher vibrations to other people. And I was like, Mom, and this is after everything was said and done, mind you, when my mom found out about tarot, I had an ultimatum. She said, you quit that right now or you move out. I had another apartment a week later. Okay, so I moved out. But when I told her this, 
She was like, no, sweetie, it's, it's not the same thing at all. And I'm just like, what's the difference? Okay. Someone comes to you with a deep burden, with a deep issue, and they leave with a lighter heart. They leave seeing the world in a kinder place, you know, as a kinder place where they're just, you know, they put out better energies so that better energies are, you know, going into the world. We both heal in different ways. Okay. And it all comes down to we're all using our spirituality. If you guys can take that moment and truly silence your mind and let go of anything negative and say, look, I don't want to be a bad person. I don't want to put another person down. I want to feel good with what I do and what I say. And I'm not out here trying to scam people. I'm not out here um, trying to make people believe in something that I don't truly think is, you know, solid. If you're just speaking out of ignorance, I just really feel like you guys should think things through. Okay? It is all the same thing, guys. If the world realized this, it would be world peace. Okay? I might meditate at night. I might believe in crystals and, you know, just um, natural herbs and healing quantity, uh, qualities, rather, that the earth itself gives us. Okay? And that doesn't make me crazy. Believing in astrology and, you know, enjoying things like that and zodiacs, that doesn't make me an evil person. How am I evil by saying I'm a Taurus? Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? So I have to say this because I just, you know, being a Taurus, <laughs> I will hold things in for a while and then there will be that one instance that kind of, you know, that one straw that breaks the camel's back. And that kind of just happened today. Where somebody's like, no, you have to repent and, you know, you're just not going the right path. And it's just like, how do you know that? And I'm the type of person that I don't like talking about things if I don't know. Okay. And two things. One, I'm going to tell you an experience that I had. And again, I understand that one person does not describe an entire religion or an entire race. I get that. Okay, but this is just one experience of many because I've seen it a lot. All right, and then two, I'm going to tell you the origin as to why a lot of uh, people in Catholic or Christian faith will be against this. Okay, now what? I once had, like I told you guys, um, my parents are very open and hospitable people. So if you say you need help in the name of Jesus, they will drop everything. So one time we had um, someone who was studying to be a priest. Okay. And I, I kind of hope this video gets to them. But um, studying to be a priest. To stay at my house. Okay. So I was away at college. And I came home for I think like summer break or something. And I met this person. And my initial reaction is, I don't like them. And I felt awful because I'm like, yo, is there a demon inside of me that there's someone studying to be a priest? And I have such a bad taste in my mouth. And I just questioned myself. I didn't question anything, you know, about my intuition. And so this person, just the way that they spoke, it's just like I didn't trust the things that they would say. And... There was times where, like, I'd have a really important phone call and I'd have to step outside because I lived with my whole family at this time. I had other people, my, you know, outside of my immediate family living there as well. So I would just go into the backyard and that was kind of like my alone time. This person on several occasions, because I lived in, like, a very wooded, secluded area, would try to creep up on me. But not like, hey, what's that? Is that you? It's kind of like, let me catch her and see what she's doing. So either I'd be on a phone call or smoking a blunt, okay? It's, it's just what I do. So there was one time that, like, this person legit came looking for me, and um, obviously I could hear them because there's twigs cracking all over the place in the process. And I'm like, yo, why is this person going to that extent? I think that that's a little bit weird that you're, you're looking for me like that. Like, I'm a grown-ass person. You know, I'm older than 21 years old. You should not be following me around the house. And they were not much older than me. Okay, so something which is very, very off. And this person at the same time was um, collecting money for a charity. And I think they said it was like Africa or something. 
And that too, they said, do you want to donate? And something just didn't feel right, guys. I'm a very um, giving person. I donate all the time. But in this case, I'm just like, mm, I'm, I'm okay. So, I don't know, I hear a lot of weird things about this person. So I go away again, all right? And I come back for, I think this is Thanksgiving break now, okay? After being away for a few months at school again. My father calls me, you know, as I'm on my way home. He's like, oh, can you stop and bring this? Um, we're having a dinner today. You're going to be so excited. You're going to meet this person and his wife-to-be, his fiance. I was like, wait, what? You mean the person that was studying to be a priest? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, that doesn't raise any flags for you? Like, when did this happen? Like, he was hardcore into this, like, three months ago, and now he's engaged? Like, that happened kind of quickly. And this woman ended up having a family that because he was a man of god they literally gave him a car they bought him a brand new spot to be at this place with um this the, their daughter they furnished it and then you know after the dinner and everything i had asked about you know this thing in africa how is that going you know is he still in the process of that and they kind of just tried to change the subject and I'm like, okay, I did my research. So this establishment, this thing that he was trying to build, it doesn't even exist. And this person was basically staying free and like getting so many donations and stuff. And it's just like, you just got out of all of this stuff. Like you just got so much out of so many people. And I'm the only person that saw it. Okay. And I got into a lot of arguments about it because I was the only person in the house that was woke enough to realize that this person was scamming people. Okay, but do I look at Catholicism as a shit religion because of that? No, but it was really, really foul. Like this person legit asked me, can I use your social security number so that a family member of mine um, can work in your name? I'm like, dude, I filed taxes, bro. No, I'm not about to give a scam artist the most important information that I own about myself. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that you know kind of made me wake up and say okay let's say you have to look you know there has to be more than this religious thing okay so i did my research especially after getting into tarot and i'm like why is tarot so taboo why is it seen as evil by certain religions all of this dates back guys to the christian crusades okay now to this day it was if it's not the most, it was one of the bloodiest massacres that this world has ever seen. Woman, child, man, if you are against, you know, the spreading of this religion, you were killed on sight. And when it came to people that were prophets, that read cards, that did all of that, the church did not like it and wanted it to stop immediately. But why? Because it got, you know, it got in the way of the prophet that went towards the church. It wasn't because it was inherently evil, guys. It was getting in the way of Mullah. That is all it is. And so when I see things like this, you know, and I had a client that I dealt with for a long time. We actually became friends. You know, we met through my channel. And this was someone that I adored. I thought it was such an incredible person. And then they posted something saying, you know, basically that people that look at horoscopes they have to repent and they have to you know realize how wrong they are so that they don't go to hell and i'm like whoa that's a little extreme okay and they were just so against it and like i just have to block that person because i'm just like how do you go from you know being one of my best clients and just being such a lovely person to being so hateful and that didn't happen until we went into church, you know, until they went to, I think it was like a Christian or Catholic church. But I think that if you're doing something good in this world, you should be confident in the fact that you're doing something good as opposed to needing to go out and tell people, look, this is not the best path for you. This is what you need to do. And if you don't do this, you're going to hell. Why does shit have to be so extreme? Okay. Um, of course, there's this fear that we should have of our creator. They, you know, this creator has to have some sort of power over us. But 
I don't think that our creator would really, how do I want to say this? I don't think that they would really mind what you're putting out into this world as long as you are not harming anyone, as long as you are not scamming anyone, and as long as you're not making anyone think that you're better. Okay? I am not going to look at a person and say they're holy because they go to church seven times a week. Okay? I know people who have never stepped in church a day in their life, and they will give their life for you. They will do whatever they need to do to make sure that you're good. And that's what true religion is. I think that the world should really get with the program and follow the religion of love more than anything else. I think the moment you start putting another person down because of your belief, you should look at your belief again. And you should say, is this really the nicest thing that I'm putting out there? Okay, so just some food for thought, guys. And, you know, I have so much to do. Like, I, I should have been doing other things right now, but... I really just need to get it off my chest and I know that I'm not the only person that deals with this and I wanted to make a video about it and for those who disagree I hope that we can agree to disagree and still be cordial but if any hate comes because of this you just proved my point okay you literally just proved my point so you could go ahead but again it's going to be counterproductive to what it is that you're actually trying to do all right so just be a good person. Stop saying shitty things. It doesn't matter what we believe in. As long as you are not harming anyone, inherently harming or scamming anybody, you are fine. Okay? And for anybody that says, you know, that this is a joke, that it's a scam, buy my cheapest reader. And if I am wrong, I will refund you no problem. No problem at all. But you will be blown away. Every single person always is. Okay? Let's get with the program, guys.